A farmer finds there is a linear relationship between the number of beanstalks and she plants and the yield Y each plant produces. When she plants 30 stalks, each plant yields 30 ounces of beans. When she plants 34 stalks, each plant produces 28 ounces of beans. Find a linear relationship in the form of blah that gives the yield when n stalks are planted. Okay. So basically, uh, anytime, you know, when you're told that there is a linear relationship between what they're talking about, a, a good idea would probably be to kind of just create a simple sketch. All right. So the number of bean stalks and the yield. Now, basically, the Independent variable usually goes on the x-axis, right? So the number of bean stalks would be independent of the yield. And then the yield, right, the amount each plant produces would depend upon, aka it's the dependent variable, it would depend upon then the number of uh, bean stalks you produce. Uh, or excuse me, bean stalks that are planted. So essentially, um, what we realize here is that they tell us that when 30 stalks are planted, right, each plant will yield 30 ounces of beans. Okay, so that's like saying, let me see if I can find that point, right? This is like a point on the graph. So it's saying when we plant 30, you know, so let's just say 30 is here. We plant 30 stalks. We're gonna get a, going to get a yield per plant of about 30 ounces, okay? So let's just say that that represented 30. So let's plug that in, that point. And now they're saying that uh, let's uh, assume we're going to plant 34 stalks now, okay? So we'll go out to 34. This is obviously not to scale. And now each plant will produce 28 ounces of beans. So you might say, well, wait, how did that drop? Well, think about it. If you plant too many things too close together, what happens? You crowd out resources, right? Each plant has to s compete and for resources and no one, you know, the yield per crop now, the crops are essentially weakened. Okay, so the yield per crop goes down because there's the same amount of resources in that soil, but now those resources have to be allocated to a greater number of plants. Economics at its finest. So now what we realize is that we do have this negative linear relationship and we should expect to have a negative slope, right? So now why don't we find the slope? We have to find the linear equation, right? So we know we're gonna to need to know the slope here, m and the y-intercept because those two things are what define a linear function. So Let's realize that n I'm basically calling similar to x, right? And y is similar to, oh, that's nice, y, right? So let's plot the two points here. I mean, we already plotted them, but let's write the coordinates, right? So the one point here as we had was 30, 30. Okay, so 30, comma 30. And the other point that we had there that we plotted was gonna be 34, 28, right? 34 is the, was the x and the 28 was the y, basically. You got two points, how do you find the slope? Easy, slope formula, right? Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So call this, uh, so call this X1 and this X, uh, <laughs> Y1. Call this X2 and call that Y2. And now let's plug it on into the slope formula. The slope will be equal to Y2 minus Y1 all over X2 minus X1. If you notice, I continually write out this formula every time so that it becomes ingrained and memorized. So Y2 is 28. Y1 is going to be 30 x2 is going to be 34 and x1 is going to be 30. So doing some math, let's see what we get. It's going to be negative 2, right, all divided now by, looks like 4. So what does this work out to be? It works out to be simply negative 1 half. Oh, nice. So that is negative, that's what we expected it to be. So now that we know the slope, can we find this y-intercept b? Well, sure, right? Sure we can. We've seen this pattern many times now. So y is equal to mx plus b. You know this formula. And remember, anytime you have an equation and you know three of the things, you can always find the missing fourth. So if I want to solve for b, I better know these three things. m is the slope that's always constant for a linear line, right? It doesn't matter where on the linear line you are, the slope is the same. The rate of change is constant. So I know that value. We just found it. What do the y and the x represent? Well, the y and the x represents a point, coordinates of a single point on this line. Now, you know two of them, so you can plug in either one. doesn't matter, all right? Uh, so why don't we plug in the first one? It's 30, 30. That's nice, right? So y there was 30. The slope value we found before was negative 1 half. The x value there is also 30, plus then b. So this is going to be 30 
right, equals now what's one half of 30? It's 15, right, and that's negative, so negative 15 plus b. To solve for b, we've got to add the 15 on over to the left-hand side, and lo and behold, voila, 45 is equal to b. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We got everything we need. Now we can plug in the values into our general equation, right? So y is equal to mx plus b. In this problem, we have to make sure we plug in the right letters. So the y is fine. The y represented the yield. The slope was negative 1 half. The x value, though, in the problem, they wanted us to write it as n, so we'll write n. Right? We also stated that up here, so we're just plugging it back in. Plus now the y-intercept value of, as we just calculated, 45. And look, there you go. Voila. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it very much. Um, and, you know, if you can, hit that like button, all right? And sub subscribing means the world to us, even telling your friends, all right? Uh, if you want to help us grow or if you want to just help, I mean, we'll be getting some, uh, not even some, but actually a lot of inquiries to, to like donate and stuff. We, 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 we more than appreciate that. Um, but honestly, we, we really insist not to take any money. Uh, instead, just, just tell your friends. That would be the best way to honestly thank us. And uh, as we grow, it's a direct result of, of you guys, really. So we really, really do appreciate it. Okay? And thank you again. Take care.